Hey everybody, I'm Bill Vensel. This is Chords of Orion, and today we're going to look at the Strymon Brig. Oh yeah. All right, we're going to get right into the Brig, but before we do, uh, full disclosure, I want to let you know that Strymon sent me this Brig, this unit, for free. Okay, full disclosure. Let's get into it. The Brig is a bucket brigade style delay. In other words, it's modeled on the old bucket brigade analog delay circuits. Strymon says they use their D-bucket technology, and you can also find that in some of their other pedals, such as the big brother of the Brig, the Brigadier delay pedal, and the Strymon timeline. And I think there's even a couple of others. All right, so here's my dry tone. All right, just, you know, stratty thing going on. And here is a first hearing of the Brig. Yeah, it's kind of your classic analog -y style delay. Now, there are three voices on the Brig, the 3205, the 3005, and the multi-voice. I've got this set on the 3205 right now, and this has the shortest kind of delay time of the three options. That's the longest delay time. I believe it's about 300 milliseconds. So I'm going to leave it on the 3205. Let's quickly go through the controls. You saw me twist the time knob. Obviously, shortest to longest. And we'll put it back on the longest. We've got a mix knob. It, do, it does go 100% wet, so that's cool. Great for effects loops in guitar amps. I've found 50% seems to be about 2 o'clock or so. So we'll leave it there. There's also a filter knob, and this is basically kind of like your EQ for the uh, delay and the repeats. And Strymon says that when you turn the filter down, so you've got the more muffled EQ-y thing going, that it will also add in some simulated noise into the circuit just to kind of add that analog vibe. In the middle, we've got our repeat knob, and if we turn it all the way up, you can do some self-oscillating kinds of things. It's, it's kind of cool for those, uh, yeah, those effects. Finally, we've got a modulation knob, and this is actually pretty flexible. If you turn the modulation all the way off, on the 3205 and the 3005 delay types, uh, you're basically gonna have a mono delay, even if you're hooked up in stereo like I am. But as you bring up the modulation, not only will you get a chorusy kind of effect, but you'll also get some stereo widening going. And as you bring the knob all the way up, you're going to increase the depth and the speed of the modulation at the same time. One of the cool things about the modulation knob also is if you bring the repeats all the way down, and turn the time to the fastest delay repeat. It's almost like having a chorus pedal. So if you've got 
simple chorusy kinds of needs on your pedal board, you could potentially do double duty with the Brig, which I think is kind of a yeah, really nice feature. All right, let's go ahead and get into the other delay types. I'm going to leave the modulation kind of in the middle because I love the stereo sound. Let's move it to the 3005 delay type. Here we go. Let me bring up some repeats here. And let me switch it back to the 3205. I'll go back and forth so you can hear the difference in the two delay types. So as you can hear, the differences are they're a little bit on the subtle side, but they are different. In addition, the 3005 uh, delay model can go to a full one second delay time. <laughs> Let's get into the last delay type, and that is the multi. And this is pretty cool because um, what Strymon does here is they take that bucket brigade delay type and they kind of cross feed the two lines together, if I understand it, and they kind of add a golden ratio repeat into the mix. That sounds really complicated, doesn't it? But here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, so you get a much more complex kind of delay repeat going on. Now, I just used my volume pedal that's on my pedal board to create volume swells. And I think the multi delay type is really good for volume swells. really done anything with a distorted tone so let's try a little bit of that i'm going to move it back to the 3205 and we'll bring the modulation down a little bit just to kind of keep that uh, where it should be filter in the middle and i'm going to bring the mix down just a little bit so that the delay will ride underneath the distorted tone so here's what we get great things about analog style delays. Since they're mellower and warmer and they don't have quite as much top end, when you use them with leads or distorted tones, it's easier to get them to ride underneath your main guitar tone. <laughs> Yeah, I like 
like that a lot. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, self? Does the brig have a tap tempo mode? And the answer is, why, yes. Yes, it does. You can access it by just simply pressing on the bypass switch and holding down until you see a blue flash. Boom, there we go. Now we're in tap tempo mode. I've got it set to 3205. Let's go ahead and tap in a tempo. One, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> So pretty simple. And I I don't have the final user manual, but to me, it seems like if I use tap tempo, even with the 3205, which has that 300 millisecond max, I can tap, it seems like I can tap in a tempo that has a longer delay repeat time than 300 milliseconds. So that might be a, a tip or a trick just to be aware of. <laughs> do now is play around with maximum repeats in all three of the delay modes. Here is the 3205 with that same tempo that I was just playing, but with the repeats set to maximum. That sounded really nice. Let's go ahead and try maximum repeats on the 3005. Here we go. That self-oscillation was thicker and kind of bigger than the 3205. All right, let's go ahead and try the multi with full repeats and see what kind of self-oscillation we get. Multi can definitely get out of control. There was probably some clipping on my signal on that one. All right, there you have it. Who is the Brig for? Well, I think it's for a couple of different players. One is the player who wants this simple pedal board setup with an old school analog sounding delay. Kind of think smoky bar room blues with just a tinge of good dirty, analogy, warmish delay. This pedal will deliver, really, really deliver uh, those types of sounds very, very well. But it's not only for that person. I think it's also for ambient players who may have a few different delay pedals on their board, and they're looking for a really great sounding analog option that does support stereo. And again, as you've heard, the Brig does support stereo. Now, one thing I'll mention is the stereo support is through two TRS 
jacks, TRS input and TRS output. So if you've got other standard stereo pedals, you'll need a splitter cable. Not a huge deal, but it's a little inconvenient depending on your pedal board setup. Nonetheless, you do get stereo in a small package. I think it's also for players who have a lead tone where they want a simple delay riding underneath the lead that creates fullness and width without getting in the way. So as always, I'd be honored if you'd drop a comment, let me know what you think about the Brig. And I've got a playlist here of some other Strymon pedal demos that I've done here on the channel. I'll catch you over on those videos.